Now and Forever is a 1934 American drama film directed by Henry Hathaway. The screenplay by Vincent Lawrence and Sylvia Thalberg was based on a story by Jack Kirkland and Melville Baker. The film stars Gary Cooper, Carol Lombard, and Shirley Temple in a story about a criminal going straight for his child's sake. Temple sang, The World Owes Me a Living. The film was critically well received. Temple adored Cooper who nicknamed her, Wiggle Britches. This is the only film in which Lombard and Temple appeared together. Plot Summary A lazy and irresponsible Jerry Day, desperate for quick cash, is willing to sell the custody rights of his own daughter Penelope, whom he's never seen. Cooper's girlfriend Tony Carstairs is shocked by this callousness and walks out on him. But when Cooper meets his daughter and has a change of heart, he reclaims the little girl and is reunited with Tony. Still, Cooper can't hold down a job. Another get-rich-quick scheme ends unhappily when Cooper is forced to participate in a dual robbery. Cast, Gary Cooper as Jerry Day, Carol Lombard as Tony Carstairs, Shirley Temple as Penelope Day, Sogai Standing as Felix Evans, Charlotte Granville as Mrs. Crane, Gilbert Emery as James Higginson, Henry Colker as Mr. Clark, Tetsu Komai as Mr. Ling. Production Temple was loaned out to Paramount by Fox Films for $3,500 a week in what would be her second movie at Paramount. It would also be the first movie in which a stand-in was hired for Temple. Temple had a good rapport with the adult crew, especially Gary Cooper, who bought her several toys and made a number of sketches for her. During the making of the movie, Dorothy Dell, who co-starred with Temple in Little Miss Marker and developed a close personal friendship with her, died in an automobile accident. Temple was not told about this until filming was started on the crying scene in the movie in which her character finds out her father was lying to her about stealing the jewelry. The tears she was crying in that scene were in effect real tears. Reception The film was popular at the box office. The New York Times thought the film, a sentimental melodrama, and a pleasant enough entertainment. Temple was highly praised for her performance. Temple sang, The World Owes Me a Living, a version of which also featured in S. Illy Symphony's animation of The Ant and the Grasshopper in the same year. Luella Parsons was amazed at the ease with which Temple reels off her lines, saying big words and expressions. There is nothing parrot-like about Shirley. She knows what she is talking about. Temple fever spread with the release of the film. Her fan mail was delivered in huge mail sacks to the studio and a secretary was hired to manage it.